Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at deferred income taxes on the cash flow statement. Uh, before I get into this definition, just basically so you know, deferred income taxes is basically uh, taxes the company's going to have to pay, but they're going to pay it later. Uh, the reason for that is as follows. Companies will often report different amounts of income on their income statement than they do on their income tax returns. The difference occurs because of the difference between the IRS and our uh, Internal Revenue Service and the GAAP or generally accepted accounting principles definitions of income. Basically, they view them differently. Uh, GAAP requires the income tax expense to be calculated on the income before taxes on the income statement while the tax return calculates taxes due based on the tax taxable income per the income tax return. Let me see if I can simplify that and show you guys a quick little uh, example. Okay, for this example, we'll be looking at the Walmart Stores Incorporated, the cash flow statement, and in this example, I am starting off with Yahoo Finance. Let me scroll up here right quick to show you, and we're on Yahoo Finance page, uh, and we're just using their free information. And like, as I said before, you can find this information anywhere, Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, your discount brokers will have it. But any time that you are seriously looking to do some serious investing, uh, you can use these kind of places for a quick glance, but if you want really good data, you're going to have to go... Uh, to find trustworthy data and go to the company itself and see what they're reporting to the SEC. Uh, in this particular case, you will see why. And we're going to move on down here. Uh, we've already covered depreciation, so the next line item here says adjustments to net income. Thank you for nothing. Every single one of these items is an adjustment to net income. They might as well have left this one blank or just put a smiley face here because we don't have any idea what this number is represented. Uh, representing because we you know, don't have good data here. And that's just what happens. Sometimes, like I've said before, uh, Yahoo Finance is notorious for having a situation where they've just omitted certain information or misreported or something like that. So always, whenever you're seriously looking for uh, making an investment, go to the company itself. In this particular case, we're looking at Yahoo, I mean, uh, uh, Walmart. So go to the company's website, uh, pull up their uh, page, and then typically you will find an investor's link, and from there you can get the information you're looking for, or you can go uh, to many of the other places like the SEC's website itself and get information as well, okay? Okay, here we are. I've gone through the walmart.com and then to the investor section and found their uh, 2012 uh, annual report, and we're looking now at the cash flow statement here. So we can scroll on down. You can see that there's a depreciation number that's 8130 or $8.1 billion. And then below that, they have deferred income taxes. Uh, and that's the majority of what is being reported out there on Yahoo. Um, but Yahoo's number is still different. We're looking here at deferred income taxes of $1.050 billion. And yet, we'll go back over there right quick to Yahoo. And we can see that they're showing that. They're showing again uh, 1.117. So there's uh, something else that they've added in here. They've got multiple items uh, in this little uh, category that's making up this number. So let's see if we can figure out what that number is. I've already done it, so I already know. But they've actually taken, and if you uh, were to, in this particular case, take this number here and subtract it from the number that was given to you from Yahoo Finance, and you will find it's missing $67 million. And that happens to be but uh, right there. So what they've done is they've taken the loss of the income from discontinued operations and out of tax, and they've added that with the uh, deferred income tax uh, line item there. So that's a mistake on their part, but now you know. Uh, the main thing here is deferred income tax. This is something that the company is going to have to pay at a later date and time. Uh, so we need to add that back into the uh, the uh, income because remember we've gone through the income statement already and we've subtracted things that we thought the company's going to have to pay, including the, the uh, taxes. But because we're going to be deferring this income tax, we're not paying it right now, so that's going to be cash back in the company's pocket. Uh, so we need to add that right back to the uh, cash flow statement. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.